Hegel's Christianity by August Strindberg from Zones of the Spirit. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Hegel's Christianity. There are two Voltaires one the mocker at all definite religion who is revered by the godless the other the fanatical champion of god who is ridiculed by the atheists because he believed in god as naively as a child voltaire recovered his reason before he died as lunatics are wont to do when he died he was definitely religious and took the sacrament there are also two hegels but they are more complicated than Voltaire, who was as simple as a foyton. Hegel discovered with his logic that what exists has a right to exist. He defends the status quo, society, state, religion with all their corollaries, because they have proceeded from God. Everything is right since it exists. It belongs, he says, to the essence of religion that it should realize itself in several historical religious forms of these however christianity is the only one which suitably expresses the essence of religion in her doctrine of the trinity the christian church contains the nucleus of all philosophical speculation for this signifies nothing less than that the eternal god enthroned in his majesty over the sphere of the finite condescends and reconciles himself to the finite becomes man suffers dies and returns to himself as the holy spirit that is well put but every school child knew it already from luther's little catechism for what object then is this extraordinary accumulation of several thousand pages of incomprehensible philosophy to what purpose hegel died of cholera in eighteen thirty one after traversing many devious ways as a simple believing christian without any philosophy repeating the penitential psalms end of hegel's christianity by august strindberg from zones of the spirit